Hey everyone, Chris Emery here. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, painting some jig heads. If you're like me, I like to make my own jig heads uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, a lot of times you get a painted jig head at a store that comes in a pack and the eyes are painted shut, kind of like that. Um, this way you can get the colors you want. Um, if you pour your own jigs like I do, you can uh, put, put whatever hook size in it you like. Um, there's lots of reasons why. Um, I like to take days like today. Today's January 12th. It's nasty outside. We got a little bit of ice and snow, uh, a bunch of rain. Uh, it's not good fishing weather today. The lakes are all flooded or up. Uh, let's get to painting jigs. All right, here's my setup for painting jigs. Uh, these are fluid beds. Um, I won't go into how to make these. You can you can search for them on YouTube and find out how to make them. Um, with a fluid bed, you get a lot better coating on your jig head coverage. A lot of people try to dip them just down in the canister of paint and it kind of clots up on it. You don't get a real good covering, but uh, I'll plug it in here, show you what we get. As you can see, that kind of bubbles and it, it looks like liquid down in there. And uh, gives you a real great coating for your jig head. Um, my setup just got a little bitty aquarium air pump and uh, run tubing over to it and got this little manifold on it to where I can kind of control my airflow. So the one thing I do um, to keep the paint out of my uh, the eyes of my jigs is I take little uh, shrink tubing like that. You can get it at Walmart or auto parts store and cut little pieces of it and I'll stick over the eye of my jig like that and uh, have a bunch of those prepped before I start painting. Heat your jig head up with a little butane torch like this. It don't take long, five, six seconds, especially on a 16th ounce jig head. Went a little too long and that's what happens. there got good covering on it I'll hang it to dry also when you do your own jig heads you can kind of do your own custom coating uh, color coating um, one color I like is black with like an orange belly on my jig heads and what I'll do is I'll take a little uh, makeup brush like this and go ahead and get it preloaded with my lighter color Before that can dry, I'll just sprinkle that on there. Maybe put a little more heat on it just to blend that in. And there you get it. It doesn't take long for these uh, for the paint to dry on these and to get that piece of uh, shrink tubing off of there. Pretty simple. Take a razor knife, kind of cut around that, pop it right off, and as you can see, the eye is just as clean as can be. Now I like to, uh, I like to have eyes on my jigs, kind of like that. How I do that is you just go to Walmart, buy some craft paint. Got a little bit in this this lid. Just take the end of a paintbrush, dip it down in there. Got to have steady hands for this. Just like that. Next side. Just like that. We got eyes on it. Hang it. You'll need to let that dry for about an hour, those eyes. And then um, the key to keeping that paint on there is you need to bake these. And you bake them at 350 for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And how I do that is I've got just a little oven here that you can buy at Walmart. They're like $20 or so. You just bake them in there for 20 to 
20 minutes at 350. Anyways, that's how I do it. Uh, I hope maybe you learned a little something from this video. Uh, maybe you liked it. Uh, please share it. Go to Facebook, Missouri Pan Fisher. Uh, Instagram, Missouri Pan Fisher, and the same for YouTube. Uh, go to YouTube and like and subscribe to uh, my channel. Keep up with the content I put on there. Anyways, have a good day. Thanks.